Welcome to Drone Harmony's Terrain Aware Tutorial, our newest enterprise solution. Drone Harmony has been developed to help document complex infrastructures with UAVs. Oftentimes, organizations will be tasked to fly multiple buildings of various sizes and heights on job sites. Flights may vary from developing two dimensional models, three dimensional models, volumetric analysis, and more. And while focusing on the overall job site, the terrain on locations is sometimes overlooked. With our latest addition for Terrain Aware Flights, we've provided yet another dimension to Drone Harmony's capabilities. Not every worksite is located on the perfect parcel of land. Land elevations can vary dramatically across a site you're documenting. But with Drone Harmony's new Terrain Aware Flight capabilities, operators now have more options for accuracy in complex infrastructure situations. In this tutorial, We'll be introducing you to setting up for terrain aware flights. You can actually generate your own terrain maps for use in your flights, or you can get terrain data directly from Drone Harmony for your work locations. Once you've obtained your elevation data, you can fly locations with elevation changes in mind, leading to even more accurate final data. First, let's start by loading your own digital elevation model, or DEM, to Drone Harmony. In order to generate the DEM that we'll be using, a flight over the job site had to take place first. The property was flown and captured with a DJI Mavic 2 Pro and with Drone Harmony. After the initial flight was completed, the images captured were processed in a 3D modeling software called Metashape. Other applications such as Pix4D, Maps Made Easy, and Drone Deploy could have been used as well. Once the elevation model was rendered, the DEM was exported into a TIFF file. From there, the DEM was uploaded to Drone Harmony through our new digital elevation model interface. Terrain example number one, upload your own digital elevation model. Provided you have your digital elevation model TIFF at the ready, we can get started uploading our terrain file. Over on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and close that window very quickly. We have our standard web interface for our site storage. And now we have terrain storage as well, which is our new terrain aware feature. In order to get our digital elevation model in, we're going to select upload terrain file. And let's give it a drone harmony. Let's give it a name of Drone Harmony Digital Elevation Model Tutorial. Now we'll drag our DEM into the screen. We have one file selected. We have to keep the files under 100 megabytes. And now we're going to process. Just a note, once you've started importing the terrain, processing the terrain often takes a few moments to complete. Take note, you can close the import terrain screen and the import will continue rendering in the background. When processing is completed, you'll receive this import terrain window. The terrain import is finished. Use load terrain page in order to load the terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and hit close here. And now we're going to take a look over on the left hand menu once more. And we're going to scroll on down. We uploaded the terrain. We could also import terrain from Airbus and we can load the terrain. So let's go ahead and load the terrain right now. And there we go. We have the Drone Harmony DEM tutorial. Let's go ahead and load that. And as you can see, we have a blocked out gray area now. This is the area that our digital elevation model covered. If we'd like to get a view of the digital elevation model, up here in the upper right hand side, we have view type. And one of our new options now is 3D digital elevation model. And as you can see, we now have our digital elevation model terrain that we have imported from our own DEM file. Now, if we'd like to create a terrain aware type, we can return back to the 2D map very quickly and do something that's probably more familiar to you, which is actually creating a flight area with our polygon tool. And we're going to make sure to keep the flight area within our digital elevation model area. So we're just going to go ahead and click, selecting our corners for our flight area. And finally finishing that one off. 
So this should look extremely familiar to you as we're back to our standard setup for doing a flight path with Drone Harmony. Now that we've blocked out the area, on the lower right hand side, we can pick our type of plan. So we have our standard mapping and inspection, but now we have a terrain aware feature as well. In the case of this model, we're going to go ahead and use the terrain map. And we're going to select a position for launching and landing. Let's go ahead and select 30 meters. And we can check our overlap. Since we're not actually flying this one, a side overlap and forward overlap of 60% should be fine. And then we'll just check our camera manufacturer and the drone profile that we'll be using. Before we do anything else, it's also a good idea to save the overall site. Once we've saved the site, we'll have it available for later use. Once the flight mission has been generated, you should see something similar to this on your screen. We now have a flight path generated with Drone Harmony over a terrain aware area. In the upper right hand corner, we can take a look at the view type. Let's look at the 3D scene. And as you can see, the waypoints are at different elevations. So our flight path was generated with the terrain aware in mind. Finally, under view type, we can go back and take a look at our 3D digital elevation model as well. Returning to our 2D modeling area, we can also see each waypoint with its different elevation level for the drone. When ready to launch your flight, you can be assured the drone will follow the flight path and make elevation adjustments as it's following the flight path. As always, be sure to save your site prior to heading out in the field. Also, when you've completed this, we'd suggest using your Android application to make sure that your new flight has been saved and synced across the cloud. Terrain example number two, creating a 3D digital elevation model with Airbus's data. In addition to being able to upload your own digital elevation models, Drone Harmony now offers terrain data provided by Airbus. Looking on the left hand side menu, you can see import terrain from Airbus. We're going to go ahead and select that. After selecting import terrain from Airbus, we have an informational window. You're about to use the Airbus World Digital Elevation Model Service to import terrain. Your current available quota is 12 square kilometers. Minimal request areas are one square kilometers. Let's go ahead and set up a one square kilometer area. And we're just moving it into place of the area that we would like terrain data. So we're selecting only one square kilometer and we're going to go ahead and click continue. Next, we'll create a name for the terrain data set. And the terrain import is finished from Airbus. We're now going to go load terrain in order to see the terrain area. We named our terrain area Airbus Dells. And now as you can see, we have a one square kilometer blocked out area. If we go up to the top menu bar and select view type, we can go down and select 3D digital elevation model where we should see the Airbus digital elevation model. In the 3D digital elevation model, we're now viewing the Airbus data live. We can take a look at the overall layout of the terrain prior to setting up any flights. With our new terrain data at the ready, we can now follow our standard procedure of using the polygon tools to block out a flight area. So we're just clicking within the flight area. And actually, I'd like to clean this corner up right here. And now closing out the flight area. Once we've defined our flight area down on the lower right hand side, we can add a mission type again. Taking a look at the plan catalog, we have our mapping and inspection, but to the right of that, we have our terrain mapping once again. We're gonna go ahead and select the terrain mapping and we're gonna select an area for liftoff and landing. Next, we'll set our flight altitude and we'll check our overlap and our camera information. 
Once we're satisfied with our terrain area, we can go ahead and select Save and give it a new name. As you can see in the 3D digital elevation modeling area, we can actually zoom in to start taking a look at our waypoints. If this mapping area looks a little too busy for you, we can select over to the 3D scene where we'll only see our flight path instead of the digital elevation as well. And of course, we can also return to our 2D mapping area to zoom in on the waypoints for our flight path. As always, don't forget to save regularly. And just to be sure, go ahead and check your managed sites to make sure everything has saved. Before wrapping this tutorial up, take note. We have demonstrated some of the most basic features of our new Terrain Aware flight. As Drone Harmony is an enterprise level drone flight solution, we wanted to remind you that multiple flight types and paths can be generated in an overall site. That means users can plan multiple missions on the same site area. You've seen our top down mission types in this tutorial for Terrain Aware. Users can also create Terrain Aware mission grids, orbit missions, perimeter missions, line missions, and more. The Terrain Aware flights can be leveraged for multiple use types like infrastructure flights, road documentation, raw land flights, and more. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get the latest information from Drone Harmony.